All right, guys, apologize for the, the lighting right now, but it is going to get better throughout the video. Uh, I have a movement right here out of a clock. Uh, now, this clock has never, ever been running since these people got it. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is really show you how I get a clock that was never running to a clock that is running. So, essentially, when I got it, first thing I said, has it ever been serviced? Guy said no. First off the bat, what you want to do is clean it. When I got it, it, it is clean now, but when I got it, it was just purely disgusting. I'll show you guys how I cleaned it. So this is my cleaner. That was the cleaning solution in there. I keep it outside because it smells. Basically what you do is with your cleaning solution, you just pour it all over your thing. You don't need to take these apart as most people will tell you. I never took it apart. I never take these apart. Essentially, I just dump my cleaner all over to the point where it soaks the one side, soaks the other, soaks everything inside. Then after that, what I'll do is, so then after that portion, what I'll do is I'll take the Q-tip, or uh, Q-tip, I'll take the toothpick and I'll just kind of run it around inside here where the bushings are and I'll clean out any of that gunk usually it'll get kind of black on the tip and that means that you're cleaning out all that excess uh, you know all that excess oil that old oil just around there at the same time you're seeing if your bushings are loose of course then after that what I'll do is take a uh, air blaster uh, these things are great you just and I'll blast the air kind of th along the back, the front, and then through the sides. Just get all that excess dust, dirt, and debris off. Then what I do is what I'm doing now, and that is just oiling the clock. Now you don't want to put too much, just a dab, I put a little bit too much in there. But you just dab your, your points. I'll do that and I'll come right back. So there, everything that you can oil, you definitely want to oil outside, you know, inside, back, front. You want to make sure that that oil's really, really in there, but not too much, but not too little. We'll, of course, go ahead now and put this thing back together. All right, guys, so there it is all back together. Uh, she's running now, apparently for the first time. Uh, like I said, this guy brought this clock to me and they said this clock was never running or was never serviced. And she's running really good now. So in addition to the cleaning uh, and the oiling that I did to this clock, I don't know if you guys would be able to see in there, but you can kind of see right there you have... Essentially, if you know anything about uh, clocks, you have a pendulum back here, down to here. This pendulum hooks on to uh, like a uh, rod type thing, and it, it goes on to the pendulum spring right there. Uh, and then that goes on to the pendulum rod, and that goes all the way to the front, and it turns that gear there, which essentially turns the whole clock. So what I did with that pendulum rod right there is I had to uh, play with it and like uh, do a few adjustments, uh, basically make sure the height was right and, uh, you know, make sure that it was a certain way this way or a certain way like that way uh, to actually make it go. Uh, I pushed it in a little bit as well uh, and then with the actual pendulum itself I pushed I believe I pushed it quite a bit to the left that way and uh, yeah now she's actually running perfect so that's what I did to get a clock that was never running before to a clock that now runs perfectly anyway guys that's the vid like comment subscribe we'll check in the video like my balls they're big and heavy.